delicious. This is making up for not being able to see the shows today. I don't want to chew my drink. Remember how I say never to visit Tokyo Disney on a weekend? Well, I don't listen to my own advice, so I'm here on a weekend. Today is gonna to be another casual vlog where I'm gonna show you what to expect if you do decide to visit on a weekend. For context, today is April 14th, 2024, and it is about 10.30 in the morning. It's a beautiful sunny day here on this Sunday morning. <laughs> As you can see, I'm at the front entrance here. Earlier, the lines were all the way back and we decided to come back out so I can show you what the lines were coming back in. I forgot to record the lines earlier, but just know that this was just full of people all the way back there. So anyway, let's get on with this very casual video. So first thing in the morning, this is always very busy, but it's about 10.30 right now and it's nice and quiet. So if you do come on a weekend, you know, it's a little more quieter, just like a regular weekday. Uh, the front gets a little quieter after the initial rush. But I already took a look and the wait times are pretty high. <laughs> we'll look at those in a second. There's Donald's Cracky Duck City event happening. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. So keep an eye out for it. They even have decorations in the middle here for Donald. <laughs> it's 10.32, or 10.33. So let's check out the wait times currently. So Monsters Inc. is at 70 minutes. And Star Tours is at 20. Space Mountain is at 120. And then we have Happy Ride Baymax is 105. Bee and the Beast is at 115. Who's Honey Hunt is currently closed. It's a Small World is 20 minutes. Haunted Mansion is 45. Splash Mountain is 75. And Big Thunder's closed today. Jungle Cruise. That's Western River Railroad. That's 30 minutes. Oh, Jungle Cruise is temporarily suspended. So the wait times are a little high. Oh, and Buzz Lightyear Astral Blasters is 55. I'm just looking at the priority passes. So these are effectively fast passes. Like you don't pay extra for them. So Monsters Inc. has them left. Buzz Lightyear, Space Mountain, Star Tours, and Haunted Mansion. So make sure you utilize these. Helps you uh, reduce your wait time. So we're gonna get one for Haunted Mansion. For the Priority Pass, you can get as many as you want as long as they're available, but of course you can't do it all at once, right? There's, you have to wait a little bit. So you can see all the text here. So for an experience different from the previous one, 120 minutes after you obtain your last priority pass or the assigned time of the 40th priority pass you have already obtained, whichever is earlier. And then for the same experience as your previous one, after you've used the priority pass or after the assigned time of the priority pass you have already obtained, whichever is earlier. And just looking at Disney Premier Access, it looks like they're still available for Splash Mountain, Beauty and the Beast, and Happy Ride Baymax. Let's look at Beauty and the Beast. Okay, so they still have some left for into the late afternoon, into the evening. Okay, Splash Mountain's at 12. Happy Ride Baymax. 12 and onwards, okay. So not terrible. Also on the app, if you tap the fork and knife here. It'll actually show you the wait times for restaurants. So the waffle, 60 to 75 minutes. And then this is the ice cream cones, that's 60 to 75. And then the Sweetheart Cafe, 60 to 75. Popcorn wagon, 30 to 45 minutes. Popping pod, 30 to 45. Pan Galactic Pizza Port, zero to 10 minutes. What about Gaston? 10 to 30. Okay, so it's not terrible. 30 to 45 for another popcorn wagon. Grandma Sarah's is 45 minutes to 60. They'll probably go up because it's only 10.30, so I'll keep an eye on it. I'll check around noontime to see what the wait times are roughly around then. So we're in line for Hungry Bear. We're gonna do an early lunch. It says it's a 10 to 30 minute wait. Yeah, the line is uh, pretty long. The line's moving pretty quick. 
we only ended up waiting about 30 minutes. So I guess the app was pretty accurate. Uh, so usually what you do is you would get a seat before you order in most places, but because it's, it's a weekend and it's quite busy, they want you to order first before you get a seat, which actually made it a lot easier to find a spot. So we got a spot actually quite easily, which was nice. For a little bit of added context, today isn't as busy as it could be for a weekend, I'm feeling. Uh, mainly because we're kind of going into the quote-unquote off-season a little bit. So it's a little bit quieter than it normally would be on a typical weekend. But in a couple of weeks, we're going to be going into Golden Week, <laughs> which is one of the busiest times of the year. I have a link in the description showing all the different holidays and talking about when to visit and all that stuff. So you can go and check that out. I got my delicious pork curry. Yum, yum, yum. I want a comfort food today. And I got cheese as I usually do. So good. This came out to, I think it was 1280 yen, which is like $9, eight or nine US dollars. So it's pretty good value. Even at, if you're paying in yen, it's still, like 1200 yen is not bad for theme park food. Now, is this the best curry in the world? No. There's other places like Coco Curry and other chain restaurants that serve up tonkatsu that are much better, but in a theme park, this is good, in my opinion. Delicious. It is currently 20 after 12. I'm just looking at the wait times there, seeming to drop. The this is only 90. Baymax is 60. The 70 minutes are Space Mountain. 10 minutes of Star Tours. 55 is Monsters Inc. And the 40 there, that is Buzz Lightyear. We're moving up. It's a Small World is 15. We have our standby pass, or not standby pass, party access for Haunted Mansion in a few minutes here. But the standby time is 60 currently. 85 for Splash Mountain. That one, always, that one always has a high wait time just because it's a kind of a slow loading ride. This is Jungle Cruise. Yeah, Jungle Cruise is 25 minutes. Western River Railroad's 15. And Pirates of the Caribbean is 10. Yeah. This is not bad at all. We are eligible for another priority pass, but it looks like there's nothing really left except for Star Tours. And I don't think we really need it for a 10 minute wait. Yeah, no thanks. And we don't have the new scenes here. Because I know they have the new scenes in the US parks, and I think Paris as well. Uh, looks like we're not getting them here in Japan. We're gonna try getting a entry request for Mickey's Magical Music World, which is a show. I haven't seen it in a long time, actually. So you need to do the entry request to see if you win to see it. It's effectively a lottery. That's what entry requests are. So we'll try this one and see if we win. Nope. Cool. The thing that sucks is if you lose, you cannot try again for the same show. Even if it's for a different time, you can't. Uh. But for the first performances for these shows, it's standby. So if you want to really see them without doing this whole entry request stuff, you can go to the first performance because you don't need to do this. You just wait in line for it. We got to the Haunted Mansion and it's closed currently. They're having system issues. So our priority pass, they said it's going to turn into a multi-experience pass. So I just checked, it hasn't changed yet. So we're just waiting for that to happen. I've never actually gotten one before, so I'm excited. We're waiting for our priority pass to switch over to a multi-experience, which I think we can use for Space Mountain, so we'll probably end up doing that. But in the meantime, you know what? We're gonna go and do the Mark Twain. I've not done that in a very long time. And I'm just kind of taking a chill today. I don't wanna be running around waiting in the somewhat long lines for the other rides. There's only a 10 minute wait and it looks like they're gonna be loading right away. Perfect.
私はこの船のキャプテンランドルフ・ノックスですこれから皆さんをアメリカ側を巡る船旅にご案内いたしますフランクス今日の川の様子はどうかねいつもこの辺りの水路の名前はオールドストライクチャンネルだったねはいキャプテンサメンのビッグサンダー鉱山から銀が出たことにちなんでそう名付けられました銀脈が発見されてからというもの一攫千金を夢見る人々が続々と政府へ押し寄せていますそういえば私たちのところに多くがやってきて川に知るすぐそばを航行してほしいと頼まれたことがありましたsay the crowds are actually quite manageable today which is nice it's not you know slow by any stretch of the imagination but this is definitely manageable I'm not trying to go on as many rides as possible today that's just not not my vibe today so we finished the Mark Twain that was lovely I haven't done that in a while we're still waiting for our haunted mansion to switch over to a multi experience and we'll probably use it for Space Mountain hopefully we still have an hour and a half before... We're actually going to watch the, the Donald show, but then we'll watch it again for the Donald event video that I'm going to do in the near future. So I thought, why don't we go and do Beauty and the Beast? Because you know what? It's only a 75 minute wait at 1.30 in the afternoon on a Sunday. I'll take it. And this ride, I don't mind waiting that. Like 90 minutes for me is probably my limit. I will wait in the standby queue for it. The queue is gorgeous. It really is. Standby is only right here. That's not bad at all. Things are moving pretty good. The wait. I went up to 85, but we got in line probably about 10, 10 minutes ago. Not too bad.
あなたをお迎えしますことは最高の誇り最大の喜びですではどうぞおくつろぎくださいゆっくりおかけになってお城のキッチンが俺に酔いをかけましたディナーをどれもお味は展開って一度食べたらこれでやるこれを食べさせ食べすぎにはご用心僕を見てそしてそっと触れて言った通りになったな俺たちの言った通りだろうもう一度ちょっと見てみましょうかね。Catch the tail of an end of it? We'll see. It's usually because it goes from Fantasyland through the front of the park back through Toontown. So I think we should still be able to catch it. We're going to try. The Donald Duck Parade is cute. I can't wait to come back and、uh, get a better spot for it because we got out of Beauty and the Beast so late we didn't get a good spot. We were just in Toontown. I mean, <laughs> we got to watch it go by. I'm going to try the entry request for Club Mouse Beat. Might as well. It's the next one. Maybe we'll win? No, no children under three. Request. And, and, and. Nope. <sighs> well, since we didn't win the entry request for Mouse Beat, I was going to say Big Band Beat, for Mouse Beat, I decided to take an ice cream break. I got two ice creams to drown my sorrows. So the first is the tiramisu sandwich. I know I don't show it too often because I usually show the ice bar. This is actually pretty decent. Not too sweet. The cookie on top, it's nice and chewy, which I, lo I love chewy cookies. Who doesn't love chewy cookies? And the tiramisu in the middle, it's nice. It's subtle. It's not too strong. It's a really nice treat. Mickey ice cream sandwich. Sandwich? Yes, sandwich. Also known as Mickey Sando. Mickey Sando ice. Miki Sando Ice. It sounds like sand, but Sando is sandwich in Japanese. So I got this as well. It's very cute. Look at that. Look at Miki. Adorable. And there's little chocolate chips, I believe, inside. This is making up for not being able to see the shows today. <laughs> the cookie on the outside is nice and soft, which I love, just like the tiramisu. And the ice, vanilla ice cream with the chocolate chips inside. The cookie is chocolate. It's not too chocolate forward, which I enjoy because you know me, I'm not a fan of something that's like pure chocolate. Yeah, this is really nice. Recommend it. If you want to see more food from Tokyo Disneyland, I did a 10,000 yen challenge. So, about you know, $70 challenge. See how much food I can get for that much. I did it all in one day, so I'll put it up on the screen. You can go and check it out later. The priority passes that we had earlier, they said it was gonna change over to a multi experience, you know, when、um, Haunted Mansion went down. They never changed, and that was a few hours ago. 
So if it's going to change, it should have by now. So I don't think it's going to. We're going to go ask and see what's up with that uh, because now it's expired and there's none left for the day for Haunted Mansion. And it's at 70 minutes right now. I don't really want to wait 70 minutes for Haunted Mansion. So we're going to go and uh, figure that out. I'll say crowd-wise, this is not that bad. At the beginning of the day, it was pretty hectic with high wait times. And, you know, people are all at the front of the park, which is kind of the same anytime, really. But, you know, that's not, that's not too bad for a Sunday. It's usually the Saturdays that are really busy, and Sundays, the crowds die off a little bit. An update on the supposed multi-experience pass we were supposed to get, so we didn't get it, right? So we came to the Haunted Mansion and asked the cast member, and they just asked us, well, do you want to ride, or do you want to ride something else? We did ask about Space Mountain, but actually, you can't use it for Space Mountain. I'm guessing because it's going to be very popular from now until it closes. I guess that's probably why we can't use a multi-experience for that. I'm not sure what rides are included in that. But she did tell us it excludes uh, Splash Mountain and Space and Baymax. And I don't think it wouldn't work with Beauty and the Beast either. So we decided, why don't we ride Haunted Mansion? So we're going to do that. Small World's only 15 minutes, so we're gonna go and do that. And the clock is going, that's so adorable. The queue is so cute. I love all the artwork. The artwork by Joey Chu is fantastic. So good. I really like Cinderella's castle over there. With Mickey and Minnie. Look at that. <laughs>
完全停止之后，工作演员会指导您下船。Please remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop when you are asked to disembark. I don't know if you heard, you might have seen it already, but Marvel is actually coming to It's a Small World here for a limited time. They're doing something in early 2025, so like January, February. We don't have exact dates yet, so it'll be on our website whenever that does happen. I'm kind of excited for it, and it's temporary. It's not permanent. It's not something I ever thought I would see, so I'm excited to see what they're going to do. I'm hungry, so we're going to do mobile ordering for Tomorrowland Terrace, and they have availability right away, so good enough for me. We got our mobile order, and it was really quick. There's tons of space in here. I want to show you my burger. I actually haven't had this yet. It's been on my list of things to try, so it's a chicken burger with tartar sauce, and... What I love about this is, in Japanese, it's called chicken nanban. One of my favorite dishes, absolute favorite. That's actually really good. Is it the best in the world? No. Does it do the job? Absolutely. This is good. This is really good. It's nice and juicy. The tartar sauce is perfect. There's a tomato on here. Tomatoes just slip out of the sandwiches, so I don't even know why people bother putting the tomatoes on it. This is delicious. I recommend this. And I got the set meal, fries, and uh, a drink. This place has Coke Zero. I decided I wanted to try the Space Mountain special drink. Space Mountain, the final ignition. I love the packaging on here. And this is a sparkling drink with Coke, Coca-Cola, <laughs> and lemon vanilla. Ooh, it, it smells very lemony. And it looks like there's lemon, like jelly on the bottom, it looks like. Definitely need to start, otherwise you're gonna get a mouthful of whatever is on the bottom here. <laughs> so remember, Space Mountain is closing permanently July 31st, 2024. So the one that is there currently that opened with the park, it's going away because they're building a completely new one behind it. If you saw my line video from before, I think I posted a couple videos ago, you would have seen the construction. Like they are clearly building a new space mountain and this one's gonna go bye-bye. Making uh, Tomorrowland a lot bigger. It tastes good. I don't like the chunks of lemon in it. It's uh, like the pulp, that's what it is, it's pulp. I don't like the pulp, Oh, It tastes nice though, but I don't want to chew my drink. I'm the person growing up when I was a kid, orange juice with pulp was a hard no for me. Absolutely not. Carried that with me until adulthood. I wish it was just lemon jelly with some syrup. That would have been perfect. But you can, you can taste the vanilla, it's in there. It's very subtle, Coke of course. And the lemon is very prominent in this. It's an interesting flavor though. I like that they put lemon and vanilla. It's usually one or the other with Coke. You know, it's like lemon Coke or vanilla Coke not lemon vanilla coke. All right. Well, I finished it. <laughs> so overall, today was not as busy as I thought it was going to be. Now my advice is always, you know, avoid the weekends and everything, which is still true. Try to avoid it as much as you can. But today, uh, yeah, it just was not as hectic, as wild as I thought it was going to be, which is really nice. The weather turned out really good. And while I didn't ride a lot of stuff, that really wasn't the aim for me today. Um, I think if I was really on the ball, we probably could have gotten a lot of things done, especially with the Disney Premier Access, because as we checked earlier in the day, stuff for Being the Beast and Baymax were kind of available a little bit later into the day. So the thing is, it's definitely doable. So if you find yourself here on a weekend, I have some tips for you to make things a little bit easier. 
Now, like I always say, get here early. Well, on the weekends, it really does matter getting here early. Utilize that early entry if you're staying at one of the Disney hotels. Get here like an hour, no, not even an hour, two hours early on a weekend because you're gonna need it. And make sure you utilize those Disney Premier Accesses, Accesses, Access I, <laughs> and also the Priority Pass as well because you can hold two of them, right? Because they're independent of each other. So the Disney Premier Access is the paid, and the Priority Access is, think of it as a fast pass is the best way to describe it. It doesn't cost anything. So you can buy your Disney Premier Access for Beauty and the Beast as soon as you get into the park, or if you're here early enough, beeline it for Beauty and the Beast. And then buy Disney Premier Access for something else, like Baymax, and also get yourself a Priority Pass for something like Pooh's Honey Hunt or Haunted Mansion, something like that. Because if you get a lot of stuff done first thing in the morning, the rest of your day is gonna be a lot smoother. Now, because the weekends are a little bit busier, just keep an open mind and know that you're probably not gonna get everything done that you want to, especially if you were to visit, like let's say on a weekday, right? So try not to do too much. Pare it down a little bit, just so you don't stress yourself out because I've been there. I've stressed myself out many, many times. Don't do that. Another tip, get our guidebook. Come on. If you don't have our guidebook already and you're visiting Tokyo Disney Resort, I don't know what you're doing. I really don't know. Come on. It is the best resource to plan your trip to here and to Disney Sea over there. It is so jam packed full of tips telling you how to do the parks, what hotels to choose from, how transportation works, how all the Disney Premier Access stuff works, all the food, where to eat entertainment, all that stuff is in there in one convenient package. So make sure you check out our website, tdxworld.com slash books. I'll put a link in the description for you. Seriously, the best resource out there for these parks. I poured my heart and soul, my team poured our heart and souls into these books. So if you want to be in good hands, get those books. Cause it's like, I'm there with you. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night here at Tokyo Disneyland. We're gonna watch the Electrical Parade. Wonderful show, do not miss that. It is top tier Disney entertainment. So it's currently 6.30 and I just wanna show you the wait times. So down here, this is Monsters Inc, which is at 50 minutes. That's not bad. Star Tours is at five. Astro Blasters is at 40. Space Mountain's at 80. Baymax is at 60, and Beauty Beast is at 90. That's not terrible. I've seen this like 220, 230 before. So 90 on a Sunday, early Sunday evening, that's not terrible. It's a Small World is only 10. What's this? What are you at? 45 minutes for Haunted Mansion. 50 minutes for Splash Mountain. 15 for Western River Railroad. Jungle Cruise is 25 and 10 minutes for Pirates of the Caribbean. So it's, honestly, this is not terrible at all. It's not as busy as I thought it would be for a Sunday.